What's up you guys, it's Dean with Continental Beads and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make these awesome rings out of chain. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is how cool these freaking rings are. They're made out of our chain, um, which comes in many, many colors. I believe this chain comes in nine different colors. And we use a one millimeter leather. So it's a four millimeter Rolo chain with one mil millimeter leather. And these things are super flexible and just super comfortable to wear. I really love them. You can make them any size. So for any, anybody, virtually any color, um, they're just cool. So the first step, that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your four millimeter Rolo chain. This is CH855 and um, a one millimeter leather. You can use any colors you'd like, mix and match. You can make multiple rings, whatever you wanna do. So the first step really is to, you can take a ring all or you can actually just measure it right around your finger and cut the chain to length. Um, I'm gonna make this ring for my girlfriend so I know she's a size seven. So I'm gonna cut this using my pair of snips here to measure a size seven ring. Now, um, let's see, we got, it's about two and a half inches of chain. Um, and for every inch, you're going to need a foot of leather. So, I'm just matching them up here so that all the chain is the same length. And so two and a half inches here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut the leather. So for every inch of chain, I need a foot. So some quick math, I need three feet. So um, I'm gonna take my leather cord here. There's one. There's two and three. Okay, perfect. Now what you really wanna do is you wanna cut this leather to make a point. It's gotta be pointed, it'll help you feed it through this chain. This, it does get a little tight, this weave. So in order to fit it through the chain easily, you gotta cut this leather on an angle. So go ahead and take your snips and really cut it on the most extreme angle you possibly can. I'm just gonna double check this side. Okay, so both of these are already cut to a point, so I'm ready to go. Um, the trick here, first step, is you wanna line up the ends and you just wanna th thread on your chain into the first link. All right, so we got one, two, three. All right, so now that I got the chain in the middle with the two pieces of leather coming out each side, I'm left-handed, so I like to thread the chain with my left hand. So the first thing I'm going to do here, with the, the trick to this pattern really is you're gonna have a piece of leather on top and a piece of leather on the bottom. And as we work, you'll see, but the trick is whatever leather goes on top, or on the bottom has to stay on the top or on the bottom throughout the entire ring. So the first step here is just weave the leather into the chain and you wanna pull it. You don't wanna pull it tight, but you wanna pull it most of the way. So leave a little loop on the end. And because I'm left-handed, I just flip it over and now I get to use, you know, use my left hand again. And now I wanna weave this piece of leather through the same chain. So that one went through really easily. And basically that's all you gotta do. You just gotta put both pieces of leather through every single chain link, all right? So, and now that you got the two pieces of leather going through each chain link, you just wanna pull it tight. So, and now it'll look, I'm gonna hold it up to this camera nice and close. So you'll see it will look like uh, if it'll focus here, come on. All right, so there we go. You can see the leather, two pieces of leather going through every chain link. 
Now the next one, we'll do this one together. All right, so now I'm gonna take my piece of leather and thread it through all of the links. Sometimes it's easier if you do it this way. You kinda gotta experiment here because it, it gets a little tricky to get them through all of them. Sometimes you can't do them all at once. You have to do it one by one. That time I got it all at once. And pull it almost tight, flip it over. And now the trick is, um, it gets a little harder as you go, keep going. You might have to experiment with um, doing one link at a time here. So anyway, I'm gonna get this first link going. See if we can get these first two at the same time. So here's one, you got the second. All right, I can't seem to get this third link. Yep, all right, so what I'm gonna do, to make it a little easier sometimes to get this third link, what I like to do is I like to pull this last piece of chain aside, and I like to actually take my pliers and pull a little bit of leather out in between the two. All right, so now we got two loops here. Now this makes it a lot easier for me to access this last link. So I can come through the bottom, there we go. Now I got it in there, pull it tight. So now, now that this, this uh, piece of leather, two pieces of leather are through this uh, single link, we can go ahead and pull both sides tight. There we go, all right. So that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. So I'm gonna go through every piece of, every chain link here. And when we get to the end, I'll show you guys how to finish it off. All right, you guys, we made it all the way to the end of the ring here. Uh, we've weaved the leather all the way through every chain link. And now all we gotta do is come full circle and connect both sides of the ring. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your jump ring. This one's already open, but you open it and slide it into your last link of chain and then bring it around, slide it into the other side and close it off. All right, as you're going, you can actually slide the leather through the jump ring because we're going to work this uh, leather into the jump ring. So take this next piece, make sure that it's nice and open into the next piece of chain around the piece of leather and into the last piece of chain. Now, and then you can close it off once, once you got all that in there. Takes a little bit of manipulating, but you can do it. All right, so now we got two pieces of, uh, two pieces of chain done. Last one, open this jump ring up, make sure it's nice and open. Into the last piece of chain. Let's try that again. Into the last piece of chain. around the piece of leather and into the other side. And now we grab our pliers and we close it off. All right, so that's one side done. Now what we wanna do, oh, now what we want to do is we want to connect, uh, slide the other piece of leather through the other way. So just like we did the other chain, gonna pull this down here, slide this leather into the first chain link, into the first jump ring. You know what, I'm gonna trim this leather. So, because once, once you work with this a bit, it does get a little bit soft. So I'm gonna trim it so I can have a nice firm piece that'll help me slide it through the jump rings easier. So got it through the first link here. 
Got to figure out how to get it into this second one. It's going to be a little tricky. Okay, if you need your pliers, wiggling it back and forth like this can also help slide it through. Grab your pliers, pull. There you go. And now into the last jump ring. With a little manipulation, it should happen. It's just a little tricky. This is the hardest part of the whole ring, is this last, very last ring. So, very last jump ring, rather. All right, well, since I can't get it in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open this jump ring back up, this last jump ring. So grab your pliers here, open it up, put the last cord into the jump ring, and then we're going to close the cord around, close the jump ring around the cord. Make sure you got a firm grip on that because this is going to be a tight maneuver here. Okay, got the cord in there. Now I'm just gonna close that jump ring. Come on. And there we go. Got it. So now all that's left to do is just pull both of these cords tight. All right, and then we got ourselves a chain ring. Now, what I like to do is I like to just trim the excess because that cord is really snug in there. All I really need to do is just trim the excess cord off. You can put a spot of glue if you would like, but in my experience, you don't even need it. And there you have it. We have a gorgeous chain ring. Doesn't fit on my finger, but uh, there we go. It goes on my pinky. So yeah, check it out. Check out this cool little ring that we just made. I think you guys are going to love this one. It's super cool, really comfortable to wear and it's just awesome. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial to make these gorgeous chain and leather rings. All the supplies are at continentalbeadsuppliers.com. We have them in a variety of colors. You're gonna love making these things. If you have any questions, please hit us up in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications to follow all future coming jewelry making tutorials. Thank you again. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and my name's Dean and I'll see you next time.